This is a story about me and my art. When I started painting, I started doing paintings of chickens and pigs and black cats and white cats with gold and slut carts. But before all that, but before I started I was all that, by a crazy monkey out in the desert, we started the whole crazy jolly chimp toy monkey face. I started making paintings of because I thought the monk a perfect metaphor. <laughs> There's the monkey there in my studio. I started making paintings of little monkeys on pigs, jumping around, clapping around. I used the monkey as a model. There's a monkey with a goat, an outhouse, and a rooster. I was real proud of these kind of paintings. Did a lot of them, clapping, you know, carrying on, having a good time. I always had that monkey there in my studio, working along as, as my ideal, as my inspiration to make great masterpieces. I got kind of crazy with it and started exploring the realms of the monkeys or the Jolly Chimp toy. I made that masterpiece right there of a Jolly Chimp clapping with the dog chases his tail, spinning around. I was real proud of that stuff back in those days. So proud, even old Haas there loved. He admired what I was doing. God bless Haas's soul. But yeah, I started doing monkeys on little little carts, you know, pulling them goat carts. Little dog and monkey clapping, a little kind of a cart there. The paintings were really good. I really liked them. The detailing of them, monkeys riding in a snowstorm or a tornado. You know, and I'm all. So I even had that nicely framed, sold to somebody. I got crazy and started doing hear no evil, speak no evil paintings and monkeys with distended jaws and monkeys with rewards. And there was like these tied up monkeys, you know. And it, basically I just kind of settled in on just the basic portrait of the monkey. <clears throat> I really enjoyed doing them, made a lot of them. And I got the idea to make this thing called the failed monkey. And there's one of the first ones. I like the idea of the failed monkey. His little brain exposed. And I got into winning monkeys. You know, fail and win, you know. And if they didn't sell on eBay, they were a winning monkey. But if they didn't sell, they became a fail monkey. So I kind of went back and forth. You know, I even got them into big time galleries too like this, you know. So I started spitting out the fail and win monkey. It's kind of edited and added things and took things away. It was my genre. I owned it. No one was there copying me doing anything like I was doing. I felt unique and like what I was doing was truly original, you know. As a man, I felt proud. So then I have to give credit to the fact that it was Charlie Sheen's winning, you know, him that phrase there is what triggered it all, you know. So I kind of kind of sit that aside and started playing with the red Uncle Sam catch register. It's these old toys. I started making paintings of monkeys, you know, putting money in, to putting these little their coins in a bank like this, you know. So started making a bunch of those guys, you know, and I started getting kind of crazy with it and coming up with all kind of different scenarios and editing it and just having fun with the genre. Fetched them shows out of the deal. Heck, even a dang video was made on some of the monkey stuff, you know. So I started seeing the monkeys as a gambler thing, you know. It's, you're gambling against the monkeys. You're drinking Mickey's and having some having some lady luck play with you play with your head whether you're going to be successful you're going to win on ebay or not you know it's just, it's a it's like solitude or something you know you're, you're just you and the monkey so they were you know, so the monkey started taking on you know all the vices you know smoking and playing around with the black cat uh doing drugs and you know alcoholism and just kind of losing your mind. I like that idea. You know, so I'd go back to being cute with a monkey, a one-armed monkey with a little kitty. Then I started thinking about, you know, the monkeys trying to strangle the bad, the bad luck of a black cat. I even made this one painting of uh, with the 10,000 maniacs, you know, the boulder scene where the monkey's gonna smash this girl. Monkey's eating a hog head. You know, monkey's choking a bunny, you know. I just thought this was the most, to me, the most creatively cutting edge chicken joke, chicken Bones George art I could come up with. Even Friday Teen had some monkey stuff in it. Then I did a bath salts monkey. Really proud of that painting. It was on wood, sold it. Then I did a Scopes Trial monkey. You know, real proud of that one too. Then the ultimate, the grand poopah of monkeys was 
a monkey choking a chicken with uh, some more monkeys riding dogs and hogs. And so then I started getting into the haters monkey. And then I started realizing there's one big ass hater out there. And his name is Red Mud. You know him pretty personally on YouTube here. I made a lot of pieces about this guy. You know, him dealing with him, stalking me, harassing me endlessly. A lot of artists have recognized the torture that I went through in dealing with Red Mud. It made work empathizing with my situation with old Red Mud. A lot of great pieces were made about how he was, what kind of person he was, you know, and I paid that tribute back many fold. Red Mud recognized justice was going to happen to Red Mud. A lot of people recognized that uh, Red had justice coming to him. They also recognized that I was the guy who made the failed Jolly Chimp. It was me. I was a recognized artist. So I had to really struggle with it. I made a lot of work in like internal dialogue about how the Jolly Chimp was in my life. I did brain comparisons between me and Red Mud, whose brain was bigger. I had a lot of pains about just dealing with Red's obsession with the monkey I could see developing. So then I made these two paintings here. It was uh, Charlie Sheen winning, and then it's the portrait of Red Mud. And then I realized I was really beating myself up over this. And that one day, justice was going to be dealt out to that little bastard, Red Mud. So I was getting fucked hardcore over this whole damn thing. So I was making better and better paints. This painting's up on eBay right now. It's one of the best classic masterpieces. I was refining my craft with epic fail. Now you made this little funny, cute thing of Red Mud fucking a chicken. Who can fuck him faster, Red Mud? But here it is. This is the ultimate. Jolly Chimp. The winning Jolly Chimp. That's mine. I own that. I'm just going to so turn, turn myself the to the bottle here. And not let this get to me. My old crafts. Not let the hatred consume everything about what I'm doing. You know, that's why I made that sign there. Haters are going to hate Red. You know, I'm not going to let your, your bullshit get to me. You know? Here you are, Red. I made this portrait of you. We know who the biggest hater is going to be out of this whole deal. 